The scientist who made it all happen was pathologist Gerhard Domach. In 1932, Domach was studying the potential medical applications of some new chemical dyes. Working with a newly synthesized chemical dye called Prontosil, Domach injected it into some lab mice that were infected with Staphylococci bacteria. The dye attached to the bacteria just as Domach had hoped, but the bacteria survived. The dye, it seemed, wasn't toxic enough. Then something startling happened. While the dye didn't kill the bacteria, it did inhibit their growth. The spread of the infection was stopped. The mice recovered. It's not clear when Domoc first used Prontosil on a human patient, but the new drug achieved fame when it saved the life of a boy seriously infected with Streptococci. The patient's name? Franklin D. Roosevelt Jr., son of the President of the United States. From that moment on, Domoc's discovery was a sensation. Because Prontosil contained what was known as a sulfanilamide molecular structure, it was called a sulfa drug, the first of its kind. A synthetic chemical substance that could cure and prevent bacterial infection. Domoc had opened the door to a revolutionary new approach in the treatment of disease, the use of chemotherapeutic drugs, a discovery that would go on to save tens of thousands of lives.